So today I got POCO X3 NFC. Let's find out the renaming method like uh, converting the mobile phone from global to Indonesian ROM without unlocking bootloader, without losing a single data. We'll be working on POCO X3 NFC after taking the Android version 12 update and update of MIUI 13. Let's find out. Do not forget to subscribe my channel and do not forget to tap the bell icon and tap select all. Thank you so much. So currently the POCO X3 NFC that currently I have is updated to MIUI 13.0.1 and uh, this is the global ROM if you can see in a brackets that MI MI stand for Mi Global and current version is Android 12 so I will convert my mobile phone from global like uh, having MIUI version 13.0.1 currently the updated version is released this one the one I have already on my mobile phone from global to indonesian rom why to get me dialer me sms with stock call recording and this will be done without unlocking bootloader and without losing a single data watch the video how to do that and one more thing that whatever i'm doing i am taking a risk and risk is mine if you want to do that risk is yours don't worry nothing will happen now I will go back to my mobile main screen to show that this is a Google dialer because global ROM comes with a Google dialer and Google messaging application link is provided in my video description the website link where we, the Xiaomi ROMs are available we have to download two ROM file and the two ROM file must be full recovery ROM file I'm saying it again full recovery rom file do not go for the fast boot file and one more thing check if you are downloading rom file it must not be stable beta it must be stable because the stable beta will not work with this procedure i have downloaded both files on my mobile phone already having it let me show it these are two rom file full recovery on rom file the first one is the global one miui 13.0.1.0 if you can see mi this is the current rom file uh, that i have already on my mobile phone and the second one is also full recovery rom file the indonesia 13.0.4 if you can see id and this both files are having in white version 12 the first one is a global ROM and the second one is the Indonesian region ROM. After converting or after installing the Indonesian region ROM, we will get Mi Dialer and Mi SMS without unlock bootloader and without losing a data. Now starting the procedure by turning on the Wi-Fi. Must connect Wi-Fi on your mobile phone. Wi-Fi got connected. Go back then tap settings and then tap about phone and tap the MIUI 13 big number. The set will start checking update. No updates available. Currently my set is uh, having MIUI 13.0.21. And then tap seven times the big 13 number. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Additional update features are on. Then tap three dots. Then tap choose update package. And uh, it will take you to the file manager. Then tap here and tap the POCO X3 NFC you will see the your internal storage tap this one to change the view style scroll down and tap the or tap or select the first global ROM the current ROM that you have already on your mobile phone in my case I have a global ROM on my mobile phone 13.0.1 I will tap the global ROM first the file will get selected and it will start getting info now wait for it when you see this window reboot and update do not touch anything just minimize it by tapping the home button then tap to open the file manager and go to that uh, your internal storage scroll down now here is the tricky part first tap 
to select the global ROM file. Just tap on it, it the, the other window will get open. You can see the options here, tap more, then tap rename and you must copy all the file name. Just press and tap so the file will get selected then tap copy. Now come to the end of this file like if you can see after ZIP erase the ZIP that's all do not erase the dot and then type B A K check it out same file name but I have changed and renamed the extension only from ZIP to BAK and tap OK then tap again once again OK and file name of global ROM change from global ZIP to BAK here we go BAK now it is time to rename the Indonesian ROM file tap to select the ROM file of Indonesian ROM then tap more then tap rename now tap press and tap to select the whole file if it didn't then tap to select all and erase everything erase everything then tap press and tap the blank window you will see a paste option then tap paste the file name will get on your mobile phone now now if we have to type dot zip after the 12.0 the cursor is already blinking there at the end of the 12.0 type dot then type zip just look once again the file name is got changed from indonesia miui 13.0.1 to sorry indonesia 13.0.4 to global 13.0.1 and uh, after the 12.0 dot zip now tap ok once again you will see the indonesian rom file name is got changed Minimize this file manager. Tap recent button and go for the updater. Here we go. The updater is here. Tap to bring that updater app back on your main screen and now tap reboot and update. The file procedure, the installing procedure will get started. Now it will take a time. You just wait, watch your set will convert or will get convert from global to Indonesia. Check it out. Now you can see that the uh, updating procedure got over and the set got rebooted. Poco logo comes up and soon the set will start booting to Indonesian ROM. Here, some Xiaomi mobile phones ask for the data factory reset, but POCO X3 NFC will not ask. So the data will be remain there. So finally, ROM got booted. I'm unlocking the screen to show that. After the conversion and after the first boot, you will see two icons are missing. That is the dialer and the messaging application. Let me go to settings. Wi-Fi is already on as I have uh, turned it on with my global ROM and I will go to me about phone. Now this time you will see the set got converted from global 13.0.1 to Indonesia 13.0.4 and white version 12. And if you see in a brackets that ID, ID stand for Indonesia. Now the two icons are missing how to bring it back follow the steps tap settings then go to awps apps then go to manage apps and uh, tap or type here in search bar l a u n poco launcher will appears tap to select this poco launcher and tap clear data then tap clear all data tap ok and done minimize it Go back to the main screen. It will ask some permission. Allow it. Allow. And we got the me dialer and me SMS application. I will tap the me dialer. Me dialer got open. I will go to the me dialer settings to show that we got the call recording here. Right. And also now we got me SMS application. And if I go to my menu, 
you will see that Google Dialer and Google Messaging application is not on this ROM. We are having now Me Dialer and Me SMS application. So I must say that the Poco X3 NFC, particularly this device, is proceeding that renaming method. You can still convert your Poco X3 NFC from global to Indonesia without unlocking bootloader and without losing a data. I hope you got helped by this video. Do not forget to like the video and thank you so much. We'll see you again in my next video. Until then, goodbye.